Are you a person who aspires to be more organized and you don't know where to start? Or maybe you have started the organization journey and you are kind of stuck. You don't feel like you are making any significant progress. Or maybe you are the person who is constantly organizing, yet you don't see any of those long-term results that you were hoping for. If that is the case, this video is definitely for you. Hi, my name is Marta and welcome to Imperfect Life Balance, where we talk about time management, productivity, efficiency, and any topic related to the work-life balance. So in today's video, I want to share with you some of the organization tips that I have found very helpful in getting my house in order. Now, I am not claiming that my house is perfectly organized or that I don't have any clutter or if you would come into my house at any time, there would be everything would be nicely put away. That is not the case. Now, I am a full time working mom. I have a side hustle. I have two small kids who are six and three. So there is plenty of mess to be made throughout the day. However, what I have found is that when I have this foundation build, things run much more smoothly. And even when there is a mess that is being made on a daily basis, it is very easy for me to bring it back into order. So today I'm going to share with you the five things that I have done, some of them that I am still doing to help me be more organized. So the first thing that I have been doing is decluttering. It is a very hot topic on social media. There's so many different, even TV shows that you can watch about, you know, stay, getting organized and decluttering and becoming either a minimalist or just getting rid of stuff that you don't need. And there is a good reason for that, because I will tell you that the less stuff we have, the more organized we are and we function so much better. So I have been on this decluttering journey for a while now. So the first thing is go through your stuff. You can do it the way I do it. I go room by room and I do specific areas in each room on a regular basis, which is mainly like our closets. The latest declutter that I did was my office where I moved everything that was not office related, which is basically my kids' toys into their dedicated playroom. That freed up a lot of space. That helped me organize all my documents, my files, where they are supposed to be. And it also allowed me to be more creative because now my space is not filled with clutter that I have to look at. Decluttering the physical world around you will help you declutter your mind and help you focus much more better. So first step is to start decluttering, which brings me to tip number two. If you are not sure where to start, one of the areas that I would highly recommend is an area that tends to be cluttered the most. So maybe that for you is a front entry where everybody is coming in and taking off their shoes and their jackets and their backpacks. Or maybe that's the kitchen island where everything kind of tends to pile up, all the paperwork and your purse and your keys. Whatever that area is in your house, that's where I would start because you're going to see the biggest impact with that. For us, that definitely used to be the front entry. We don't have a dedicated mudroom in our house. So our front closet serves as a space for us to store our jackets, our scarves, gloves, things of that nature. Because of the way the closet is, my kids could not hang their jackets or put away their other outdoor clothes on the hanger. So they would just kind of put it on the floor and wait for me to store them properly in a closet. So what I have done is I just put a bin in the closet on the ground so they can just put all of their gloves and scarves and jackets into that bin. So it helps me be more organized and it also helps them develop good habits as well. Tip number three that I have for you is to find a space for every item that you have. If every item in your household will have a designated spot, it's gonna make a huge difference for you when you are trying to stay organized and keep the clutter to a minimum. A lot of the times we have clutter because we don't have a home for our items. We are not sure where to put the mail that is coming in, so it's just waiting on the kitchen counter until you open it up and see what's inside, whether you need to keep it or discard it. So as you are decluttering your house, make sure you assign specific spaces for specific items. So if you are looking for some more inspiration on how to do that, make sure you check out Do It On A Dime channel. I will link it down below. Catherine is just amazing with organizing stuff. So make sure you check her out. 
And that brings us to tip number four. Now that you know where your things belong, now when everything, every item has a specific spot, make it a habit of putting things away as soon as you are done with them. Now, obviously that is not gonna work all the time for you. If you are like me and have small kids, it's very difficult to do that. However, you can at least start working with your kids on this habit. So for example, when we are done eating, whether it's a snack, whether it's a meal, we put any dirty dishes away in a sink. And that goes for everybody. And for me, it's a habit of when I'm done working for the day, make sure that I declutter my desk and put things away where they belong. And that brings me to another tip, which is to put your house back in order before you go to sleep. So I have done a video on my evening routine and what I do to make sure that my house is all set for the next morning. So I will link it up here so you can check it out. But the basic idea is to make sure that all the things are put away and ready for the next morning. It's just the idea of getting up in the morning to a house that does not have any clutter anywhere. It sets you up in a good mood and a positive mindset, and it helps you stay more organized throughout the day. And that brings me to another tip, to develop routines for yourself. I just talked about an evening routine, but there are also different types of routines that you should start thinking about to be able to stay on top of things. So obviously good things that are gonna go well with your organization is things like having a laundry routine and things like a cleaning routine where you designate either specific cleaning tasks that you do every day or maybe you just have like I do a specific day of the week where you do most of your cleaning. Getting into a routine with things like that is gonna help you stay more organized because you keep doing them on a consistent basis. So for example, for me, most of my cleaning is getting done on Saturdays. So because I clean my house every single week, it doesn't get as dirty and it doesn't take me as much time as if I would try to do it every other week or maybe once a month, where then everything would get really dirty and it would take me forever to clean it. So having the routine that works for you, that works for your lifestyle, is gonna help you stay organized in the long run. So those are all the tips that I have for you on how to start getting with the organization process and how to stay organized. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any additional ones, make sure you share them down below so we all can check them out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future ones. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.